Hello and welcome to the biggest trivia channel on YouTube. Today, it's not road trivia, it's boat trivia. All of the questions on day 161 and 162 come from the various trivia games that we played while on a cruise a few weeks ago. These questions have an international theme to them, so some of them are going to be pretty hard, some of them are going to be pretty easy. There's 40 questions each day. No tiebreaker today. Good luck. Question number one. What is the only animal that has cube-shaped poo? Personally, I did not know this until the cruise. The wombat is the only animal that has cube-shaped poo. Question number two. Always active, night and day, what is the hardest working muscle in the human body? That would be your heart or the cardiac muscle. Question number three. Typically involving the juice and peel boiled with sugar and water, marmalade is made from what type of fruit? Now on the ship, we got this one wrong because we said orange and I guess the correct answer is just citrus. Also, I know you guys don't like the way I pronounce words sometimes, so I brought in an expert for this one. Is the longest place name in the world. What country is it located in? The answer is New Zealand. Question number five. What year was the very first model of the iPhone released? Not the iPod, the iPhone. The iPhone came out to the public in 2007. Question number six. What month and day did Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and James Monroe all die? They all died on July 4th. Question number seven, what do you call the blending of sounds and meanings of two words into one word? For example, motel from motor and hotel and brunch from breakfast and lunch. The answer is a portmanteau. Question number eight. What was the name of the mall at the beginning of the 1985 film Back to the Future? It had a different name at the end, but at the beginning, it was the Twin Pines Mall. Question number nine. Before he married his cousin, Queen Elizabeth II, in 1947, Prince Philip was already a member of what country's royal family? The answer is Greece and Denmark. Either one of those will be correct. Question number 10. Which popular cartoon character lives in a pineapple under the sea? The answer is SpongeBob SquarePants. Question number 11. Since its inception in 1911, 
What annual American sporting event is held every Memorial Day weekend? The answer is the Indianapolis 500. Question number 12. Which animal's name translates to river horse? Some of these questions are pretty short, so you got a little bit of extra time to get them answered than the normal five seconds. Just enjoy it. The answer is the hippopotamus. Here's another short one. Question number 13. Sofia is the capital of which country? Sofia is the capital of Bulgaria. Question number 14. What film did Judy Dench win an Oscar for in 1999 by playing a role that was only on screen for eight minutes? The answer is Shakespeare in Love. Question number 15. What number sits to the immediate right of the number 20 on a standard dartboard? In the spot right next to 20, what number is it? 20 is the best and one is the lowest point you can get. One is the answer. Question number 16. The Sino-Japanese War that occurred from 1937 to 1945 took place between Japan and what other country? The answer is China. Question number 17. With physical symptoms such as nausea, sweating, or shaking, Electrophobia is the fear of what animal? Electrophobia is the fear of chickens. Question number 18. In what 1980 film does Aretha Franklin star as the owner of a soul food cafe? That movie was called The Blues Brothers. Question 19. Who wrote and directed the 2003 martial arts action film Kill Bill Volume 1? The answer is Quentin Tarantino. Question number 20. In which European city would you find Orly Airport? Orly Airport is in Paris, Paris, France. Question number 21. What is the only vitamin that is not found in an egg? Eating your eggs gives you all the vitamins except for vitamin C. Question number 22. Everybody else on the boat knew this answer. I had no idea. I did not know if this was common knowledge or not. What do you add to white sugar to convert it to brown sugar?
I, I've never heard this before, but I guess all it takes is some molasses. Molasses and white sugar makes brown sugar. Question 23. Which character in the Disney Moana movie said, if you wear a dress and you have an animal sidekick, you're a princess? The answer is Maui. Question number 24. What is the name of the largest island in Africa? The answer is Madagascar. Question number 25. The Great Barrier Reef is off the coast of what Australian state? It's just off the coast of the state of Queensland. Question number 26. In October of 1995, which vegetable became the first vegetable to be grown in space. We guessed because we saw it on the Martian, but we were correct. The answer is potato. Thanks, Matt Damon. Question number 27. Which popular singer's real name is Robin Fenty? Robin Fenty is also known as Rihanna. Question number 28. In which sport would you be able to find a flying camel? I guessed Quidditch and I was wrong. When I heard the answer, it made sense. The answer is figure skating. A flying camel is in figure skating. Question number 29. What is the largest joint in the average human body? What is the largest joint? The largest joint is the knee joint, which is slightly bigger than the hip joint. Question number 30. How old was Princess Diana in 1981 when it was announced that she would be marrying Prince Charles? I think she got married when she was 20, but she got engaged when she was 19 years old. Question number 31. What popular character has appeared in the most video games worldwide? From the beginning of video games to now, which character has shown up the most? The answer is Mario. Question number 32. The hottest ocean area is the Persian Gulf. But which sea has the highest average temperature? Which specific sea is, has the highest average temperature? The answer is the Red Sea. Just a little bit of change in the format is throwing me off and I apologize. Question number 33. Which Australian city boasts the original Foster's Brewery? The answer is Melbourne. Question number 34. 
What Ivy League school's primary campus is located in New York City? The Ivy League school that's in New York City is Columbia University. Question number 35. What did Willis H. Carrier famously invent? Look at that last name. Think about it. Carrier air conditioning. Air conditioner is the answer. Question number 36. I feel like this question has been on the channel a thousand times. Who wrote the Scarlet Letter? We've asked that question just about every way it can be asked. The answer is Nathaniel Hawthorne. Question number 37. What country was known as Persia until 1935 when it adopted its present name? Persia is now known as Iran. Question number 38. Which politician was known as the Iron Lady. Viewers from the UK will know this. The Iron Lady was Margaret Thatcher. Question number 39. What American TV show took place on Wisteria Lane? I don't know if this show was popular in the UK, but I know there's a lot of American ladies that know that Wisteria Lane was where all the action happened on Desperate Housewives. Question number 40. In the continental United States, which state capital is the furthest south? The answer is Austin, Texas. All right, and that's it for round one of Boat Trivia. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Every day we do new trivia quizzes. Usually they're only 21 questions long. There's 20 up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker. This weekend, I decided to do something a little bit different. We had all of these questions that came from the cruise ship trivia that we played, uh, and I needed to get it out there. And, and as you saw, the format is a little bit different than what we normally do. Some of the questions were very, very short, so it kind of leaves a little bit of a dead, you know, some dead air. So thank you for being patient. We have one more of these tomorrow, and actually, we have enough for two more boat trivias. So if these are well-received, uh, we'll do another weekend of boat trivia, boat trivia sometime uh, this summer. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday, when you watch the 40 question quiz tomorrow, make sure you stay to the very end of the video because I'm going to show a couple of clips of our team actually winning the uh, the cruise ship trivia, which was pretty cool. So if you're into that, make sure you stick around to the end of the video tomorrow to check that out. And if you've been watching the channel, you might recognize those three people from the very end of the England videos where they're riding in front of the Big Ben. Anyways, I like adding little personal touches to the end of these videos because you don't have to stick around and watch it if you don't want to. You can just play the trivia. But if you want to, there's always a little something extra in there. So anyways, thank you for playing round one of Boat Trivia. I'll see you tomorrow.